Okay, we're gonna measure our piston ring gap. Put these in here like so. Now try not to bend it down at least an inch. Something like that. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm measuring my ring end gap. I'll put a light in here so you can see a little bit better. But I'm gonna take feeler gauges like this. And I've already checked it to see which one it is. This is a 20 thousandths. Put it right in here on the ring end gap. And I should feel a slight drag, which I do. I could go up or down a little bit just if I to be sure. There's a 20. You may have to add stuff together. See that won't go in there, so it's not that one. So that's uh, about 21 and a half thousandths. The other thing I could do, so I decided it was 20, and add a couple together. Here's a one and a half thou, and nope, that's not enough. So let's go down. Try an 18, call that 19 and a half. That one should go in there. Yep. So anyways, what you do is you add the 18 thousandths, the 15, 10 thousandths. You can see that there. I'm going to go back to my 20. When I pull these out of here, I want to pull them out evenly. I don't want to twist it like that, that'll break it. Some high performance applications like race cars and that kind of thing, you'll have to file this end gap down 